Hello everybody, my name is Simply Velka. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a pick a card for romance, for love, for any kind of twin flame or soulmate connection, and overall what you can expect next for your love life. And so if that is of interest to you, keep on watching. All right, you guys, so in this pick a card, I have them sorted out in animals. So in pile number one, this is the bat. In pile number two, this is the spider. In pile number three, this is the dog. And in pile number four, this is the frog. And so like I do with any pick a card, I ask you guys to close your eyes and to breathe in and out three times. And on your third breath out, I want you to open your eyes and whatever pile that called to you the most, whichever pile that you looked at first or whichever pile that you see, whichever animal that you see in your mind while you're doing your breath, breath work, that is the pile that is meant for you. So you guys may feel more called to more than one pile that is completely okay. Just make sure that when you go to both readings to go pick the cards that are feel like they're calling to you the ones that are resonating with your intuition the most and so like always once you do pick your pile i always leave the timestamps down in the description box and in the comment section below so once you do pick your pile you can click the timestamp below so you can get straight to your reading let's go guys hello people in pile number one so let's just jump into our reading right for what you can expect next in terms of love romance maybe potential twin flame or soulmate connection let's just see right i'm super excited to see what messages we have for this i'm going to be trying to cover as much basis as possible whenever I connected with this energy I can could I already kind of tell this is going to be like already a pretty like passionate relationship so let's just step into this while I'm stepping uh shuffling cards so let's jump into the back card that we chose the rebirth card uh right if I can find the camera, of course, right? So with the rebirth card, this is already giving me a sign that this relationship that you're going to have in terms of romance is going to be um, a time of that's going to be, I feel like the person that's coming into your life is going to expose you to a new way of living. Uh, I'm going to kind of like go out on the limb here and say this person that you're going to be meeting is going to have a fair bit of success because there's several cards here that lead to it. I pull as you were seeing as the card that flew out for you guys is plenty of material things. The bowl card, very beautiful card. This, like, let me just go into talking about financial success that I'm seeing with this person, right? This sets it up so beautifully because we have the nine of earth and the nine of earth talks about enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone and successful self-employment so right off the bat the nine of earth is giving me another affirmation that's like this person that's coming into your life this person is going to be pretty uh, uh successful whether they are self-employed or not may be of a variance but i feel like spirit brought forward the nine of earth card more so to talk about how this person is just going to be of like career-wise they're going to be extremely successful because it's just like with plenty of material things this person is definitely going to make you feel as if you're having experiencing like a rebirth and that it's going to yeah this person is just going to bring out uh a new way of living for you that you're just not used to with like more financial gain in your life with more material things or maybe if you're already used to that kind of thing maybe they're going to give you introduce a new rebirth to you in terms of like a new way of living perhaps so y'all know i like to speak in analogy so for some of you guys maybe like you're meet someone that's extremely artsy i'm getting a lot of arts artsy energy with the aquarius and cancer energy maybe they are like an aquarius or a cancer uh but yeah maybe if they are like an artsy person and you're used to like a nine to five this person is going to show you how they are managed to how they are managing to be successfully self-employed uh with their creative passion and that's in, like through this creative passion they're still able to get material gains so they're going to give you a whole new perspective on a way of just living a way of just exploring things with yourself right and let's go into a little bit more into the situation i feel like with my with any type of reading that i do i like to go into where we can go to get to this kind of relationship right i can touch on a little bit more maybe i can do a different reading let me know in the comments below if that is uh, something that you would like to hear but i feel like for the rest of the spread i'm feeling as if spirit's trying to help you get to the point of getting to this relationship that's going to get you to this rebirth right so let's see what we got here uh yeah this is definitely going to with the kite card this is definitely leading into what i was trying to imply here so we have the let me stop shuffling actually for a moment we have the manatee card and the manatee card is asking you to accept the situation for what it is and so 
And this is, I feel like, the overall met like for spirit. I feel as if, if this is not something you're experiencing right now, you guys, I feel as if there's something in your, uh, in order for you to manifest this person coming into your life, I feel like, and hmm, I feel as if almost, I might be bold to say this, but I feel as if this person might already be in your life in some kind of capacity, or if they're not already in your life, the only way for you to like allow this person coming into your life is to heal uh, certain aspects of yourself. Allow me to explain this and what I mean by this, because we have the Hermit card asking, and this card is asking you to spend some time in uh, quiet meditation, right? Asking you to, uh, going referring back to the Manatee card, asking you to maybe meditate and help you put perspective on situations in your life and put perspective on like maybe past relationships that you've had in your life. If you've been in a relationship, even if you haven't been in a relationship, I do want to emphasize that this is still going to be a time of that you want to reflect on past relationships in terms of like platonic or just family relationships and because it's important to spot patterns and habits that you've developed through past relationships because you want to start working on this because you want to come from the healthiest place possible uh with this person maybe this person is going to help uh heal parts of yourself that um you've had maybe like past trauma with like other relationships right i feel as if for some people that you're going to need to forgive somebody in your life or forgive maybe not necessarily forgive but be able to come up, come from a place of understanding for other individuals in your life and at least re releasing past resentment towards people because we do have the queen of water relationships developing to a new level and trusting your intuition uh this card right here is exposing to me that this is why i'm talking about like giving emphasis on like your past relationships because i feel as if with this depthful, depthful relationship that you guys are going to have with this person that's going to be able to take you on like these kind of vacations with the kite card with those material things like you guys are going to have to match their energy a little bit right because you're just seeing this and it sounds like a catch right they're able to ex just ex show you a whole new world right i'm not gonna even sing the song for copyright but i just definitely feel as if this person they're they're not gonna want to I don't even want to speak for them. Let me not even speak for them. I feel as if, yeah, just with the mice card discord among friends or family, this person is really not going to be able to have the patience, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, with having too much trauma from past relationships. So if you find yourself holding yourself back a lot from like your past relationships, maybe holding some past resentment from other relationships or just having issues with other relationships in your life with friendships or family relationships i feel as if this is where you need to start working on them bringing love into the situation start raising your vibration rather than ha holding all this resentment um with certain people in your life that you may potentially be feeling bring love into the situation right and then uh, allow this queen of water energy to take over where once you do bring love into the situation you're able to have like a more depthful relationship a more depthful connection for this person that's going to be coming into your life next definitely um i may and i may i kind of want to bring this up again where uh i feel as if for some people you may know this individual already i keep wanting to talk about this as well because i feel like maybe uh some people have like a level of uh with with because with the mouse card talking about discord among friends this is giving like more reasons why i feel the need to bring it up i feel as if some people may already have like know this per the person that they're meant to be with right now and this maybe they're not like a twin flame or a soulmate necessarily but they're meant to be in some type of relationship um that's gonna teach them something, right? Because anytime there's like discord, there's something that you can learn from it, right? Um, I feel as if like with the mouse card showing, coming into play with the manatee as well, uh, just as a reminder, accepting the situation for what it is, I just feel so heavily that like you, some of you guys, you're, you may just have like an issue with them. Maybe there's like a misunderstanding and like you're permitting away from them perhaps and you don't want to connect with them and you've been avoiding them but i feel like you truly need to start bringing love into the situation and really realize that your commitment's being tested right you're really 
um, being tested to see how much deeper you can go with this relationship. And if you're able to pass this test, if your commitment is able to pass this test, your resolution, your personal resolution is going to come into play. And that's when you have the more depthful uh, relationship that the Queen of Water is talking about. So very good cards. For you guys' last card, we have the Seven of Earth, Seeds Well Planted. I feel as if with this card is talking about, I feel like for some people in pile number one, you guys are feeling as if like you're not meant to be in like another relationship again maybe it's even hard for you guys to process this catch coming through to you guys maybe when you saw this pick a card it's like why the heck am i even seeing this pick a card for love i don't care about love and you just entertained it because i looked cute in the thumbnail right but like no i feel as if for some people you guys are, don't even feel as if you're ready to receive a relationship or you're not meant to receive a relationship maybe you feel like you're going to be forever single and i feel as like i f i don't know part of like I don't want to like be preachy with you guys, but I just will make it short and be like, your vibe attracts your tribe, you guys. And if you feel as if you're not worthy of love, if you constantly have like this resentment, then you're not, you're going to be radiating this lower vibrational energy. That's why there's always like this emphasis on bringing love into the situation. When you bring love into the situation, that is when a personal resolution comes into play. Like once you start radiating more love, that is when you're going to radiate, like this person is going to be receptive towards that. They're going to want to be around that higher vibrational energy. So that's really what Sphere's trying to suggest to you guys. Um, I really hope this reading was of resonance to you guys. If it was, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card resonated with you. I would love to hear about it and if it did resonate with you please give me a like and subscribe because it really is helpful for my channel but i hope i can connect with you guys soon i love you so much bye all right people in pile number two let's just jump into the reading right now for you guys to see what messages we have for what's coming next in love what's coming next for like maybe a potential soulmate or a twin flame for some of you guys right i'm really excited to see what we can overall expect and while i'm taking in these cards right now i want to talk about the spider card the weaver of dreams this is the card that you guys selected so i definitely feel like right off the bat uh this person uh that you're going to be connecting with is hmm. i feel as strongly as if this person is going to be extremely linked to your guys's overall dream they're going to help weave this dream of yours into reality maybe they're going to be related like having like similar interest in this way uh the two cards that flew out very interesting um beautiful cards right the ring marriage is going to come into play so definitely this next person that's going to come into some of y'all's life is going to be the one that's going to propose for marriage um Maybe with the, the second card that I pulled for you guys, Dark Dog Far Away, a distant friend is thinking of you. Uh, so mm, the beautiful two cards combination, maybe I f this is right now affirmation. This kind of speaks for itself, right? I don't need to even explain it further, but I feel like this person, this friend, maybe like along, like you know this person already. Maybe if, you know, if you don't know this person, this person is watching you from far away, not in like a creepy way, obviously, or hopefully we can only hope. Um, but this person, maybe they're like in the same type of work environment as you are and that's how they're going like that's why they're like connected to you in part a part of like your web they help weave your web in this way but something i also want to note here this person definitely getting like super loyal vibes because with the dog card here as well as the dog card here talking about loyalty and all that this person that's going to be coming to you is going to be extremely loyal so that's something to keep in mind as well and it makes sense right because i did pull the ring card talking about marriage so this person is going to see you from far away and like the dog here they are <laughs> they're going to come running to you and with all their love and just wanting to just be the one for you and be super loyal to you just connect with you so right off the bat just beautiful cards for you guys really exciting um expect a, uh, hmm, what do we even want to start with next there's so many different cards i want to um go with i uh, kind of let's continue on with the night of air i feel like this person coming into your life is going to be uh, this romance, romantic interest, this love interest is going to be coming to you fairly soon. So even if they are that dog that is far away, the events are going to occur at great speed. That's what this Nine of Air talks about. Events occurring with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. So um, definitely just don't go for like, don't take basically what this card is coming forward to like give you a heads up that this person, even though they are far away, they're going to come to you quickly. But also just because you take this message that they're going to come to you quickly, don't take that as like the sign of like you should just welcome your energy to anyone that's coming into your life and 
that's pursuing you right don't take the first person that pursues you the next person that pursues you as that sign of like this dog that's far away because that's not the case you still want to carefully review your options you're going it's going to be very obvious who this dog person is who this extremely loyal person is i feel like you already know them because we do have the, the dog far away maybe you've already seen them if you don't know them on a personal level but like it'll be very obvious with the dog cards coming in so strongly in both you know something I, i've been holding up this card for you guys for so long but something else i want to point out is we i pulled the lovers card for you so very deep um yeah i really want to say this person is going to be a deep impactful relationship for you guys like you're going like with the marriage card and the lovers card very intense int intense intense passionate energies for you guys but also with the what the lover card represents as well is the, uh, the need to make a decision on something so when you have a lover's card paired with the knight of air asking you to review your decisions before you make a decision like there's definitely i feel as if there's going to there's like a few people maybe there's like a couple for some of you guys you may have like a couple of different love interests maybe there's going to be before like this dog person comes like you're going to have different pursuers uh, and you have to like make the choice of like either waiting it out or saying like oh identifying that this is your dog <laughs> this is your dog this is like your per this is your loyal person this is the one that you're meant to be with this is the one that's going to have like that marriage right uh, I mm, y'all definitely people in pile number two so many of you guys I feel like I already know this person because with the teapot deep friendship with someone of the same set girl i didn't even finish reading this <laughs> this card this card says deep relationship with someone of the same sex so i feel like obviously it's not going to be affirming for all people that are receiving this reading because not all of you guys are going to be on the lgb lgbtqia alphabet whatever spectrum but something i do want to point out with the teapot card as well is talking about like a deep friendship as well so it's like two different cards talking about friendships so definitely someone in your circle may have an eye on you guys something to take note of and um going into before i get into like the second part of the reading i'll finish off the talking about this individual with the two of water a relationship that grows continues to grow closer forgiveness so maybe this person like you guys distance yourself and that's why the dog is far away right now because like you guys maybe had like a misunderstanding but it's not like a permanent thing because your guys' relationship is going to ha get closer and obviously because it goes into like the marriage and stuff like that right but i feel as if for you you guys like this person yeah you guys definitely know this person in some kind of way i feel this person that's going this next person coming in your guys' relationship you guys definitely know on some spectrum but uh going into the rest of this reading right this is going to be a little bit of advice i feel from spirit and like where you guys need to go to get to this relationship the steps you need to do because i was like giving you the message by like giving people like a sense of direction as well right so the first starting card is the waning moon what do you what is it that you need to release that is the first sign like i feel obviously when it comes to any kind of relationship you need to um yeah yeah when it comes to any kind of relationship you need to work through your own problems that you might have but the bridge card that i pulled successfully overcoming your problems i feel like you need to figure out what it is that you need to release what problems of yours that you need to release what baggage that you need to release for this person right because even though this dog person is loyal you don't want to come into this relationship with a bunch of baggage maybe this dog person you're not even going to notice this dog person because you have so much baggage on you that you don't even recognize them for the the loyal person that they are because you have this problem that you're not overcoming or releasing right um during this yeah i feel like with a three of air uh maybe you guys have like a past relationship that you need to release from a great because this three of air talks about great sadness taking time to heal and forgiveness again so mm, so we have two different cards you guys talking about forgiveness there's definitely something you need to forgive maybe i feel like definitely there's some people like you're really like this next relationship like maybe you're wondering some of you guys that are watching this reading if you're wondering if you need to take someone back or should welcome someone back or something in that uh like maybe like yeah i feel like a lot of you guys in pound number two already kind of have an idea of who it is if you are in an argument with somebody there's like you guys need to ha come to like a come to an understanding but the only way you can come to an understanding is by figuring out what it is that you need to release and not choosing to 
decide that you're not the problem because with the two of air coming forward you guys maybe are convincing yourselves oh maybe that they are the problem that's why you don't need to be the one that practices forgiveness because they are the problem or maybe you always are putting the blame on everyone in your past relationships and your friendships and like they are the problems that's why they like that's why our friendships and relationship didn't work out because they were doing something wrong and it wasn't me you know you need to take this accountability with yourself and keep asking yourself what is it that you need to release release what is it that you need to release to help get over your problems <laughs> it's gonna be like this reading is very uh confrontational for you guys but they're really trying to help you get to this person but what is it you need to get over to your problems so you can have this powerful change that the new moon in eclipse or yeah new moon in eclipse is talking about um you guys a time to give rather than take yeah definitely i feel like this is like this is giving like another affirmation that spirit's really trying to hold you accountable stop put like don't put energy out into other people and start self-reflecting a little bit more and figuring out what it is that you can improve. Because even if you have done no one wrong, it's not the energy that where I'm trying to apply at all. Even if you have done no wrong, this is just a time for you to constantly be growing and releasing stuff that you need to rele uh, release because you want to think about this dog far away. This person that's watching you, you want to, this friend that's watching you, you want to show them that you're growing. Maybe that it, that's something that they need to do. Maybe that's how they come to forgiveness and with you. If, some, if you maybe upset somebody, the only way for them to come to forgiveness with you is if you show them that you're growing and doing your own work, right? But yeah, that is the messages that I have for you guys in pile number two. I really hope that this reading was of resonance to you guys. If it was, let me know which card resonated with you. Was it the dog? Well, there were a couple dog cards. Was, honestly, y'all's reading was such a treat to do. So I love it. So I, I really appreciate you guys letting me do this for you. Um, but if it was of resonance to you guys, please give me a like and subscribe. And cause, because it does help me out so much. But I hope I can connect with you guys soon again. I love you so much. Bye. All right, people in pile number three, let's see what cards we have for you guys. And while I'm laying out the cards, I want, I'm want i going to start covering the dog card. That's what you guys chose for pal number three. So right off the bat, the cards itself says, and what the dog represents, I feel like most people already know, is the dog represents loyalty. So this person coming into your life is definitely going to be loyal, similar to people in pile number two. Maybe some people are changing in between the two, right? And receiving messages from both. But yeah, so let's just jump into this reading right now. This person is definitely going to be, um, yeah, I feel like this person is going to help give you the, your crown. <laughs> Because we have the Empress card, Empress card, and this is talking about lavishing and abundance, giving birth to your dreams, right? Um, I feel like this person coming into your life, whether you are your king looking for your queen or your queen looking for your king or a queen and queen or king or king, whatever the case is for you, I feel like they're going to help you own your greatness. They're going to help you. Yeah, this person is definitely going to help get you to this place where you can nurture your dreams and really start manifesting your dreams and start spoiling you even. I feel like maybe this person is definitely going to help you in terms of your career heavily and, and be really successful in it because we have the magician card y'all's reading it in pile number three is so forward because with the magician card archangel raziel this card is talking about how you are ready you have the resources or the ability to manifest and life is magical this person is definitely going to be extremely loyal to you but also like be extremely loyal to you help you find your crown so you get that honor and respect that you deserve and get that recognition that you deserve. They're going to help nurture you and give birth to your dreams. And like, this, yeah, this def definitely, I'm getting so much abundance in this reading. So I feel as if either this person's successful in their career or they're going to help you get to success in your career. Um, either way, I kind of just want to talk about your career a little bit just because like, with the luck is on your side and the wheel card, this is the time for positive change, fortune is on your side. Like, you guys, like this is this person coming to you is going to be coming quick and this is like when you're with them this is going to be such an ex like ex like magical explosive time in like the best way possible like this person i feel like maybe you guys share like a similar interest a similar passion maybe you work in the same field and they're going to really help elevate you and your dreams help push you to um nurture your dreams into yeah like overall like just really help you see your greatness, help you see um, giving yourself enough credit and maybe helping you realize the crown that it is that you do deserve to wear. This person is definitely going to help heal some things inside of you. 
you know, I feel like this person is going to like people in pile number three, maybe you don't have like the best opinion of yourself. Maybe you're feeling a little bit insecure and this person is going to just see you through the loving eyes of like a dog, right? When you see a dog, like a dog's not judging you for how you look or how you smell or anything like that. They just see you as the king or queen that you are and giving you that, res that respect that you deserve. And maybe uh, they're going to help heal the respect that you don't have for yourself and help show you that you deserve respect and help show you that you deserve to be honored. This is definitely going to be a very spiritual relationship for you guys. The, this person is definitely going to heal a lot in you spiritually because of the rattlesnake card. Yeah, definitely overall, the, like this relationship is going to be so healing, so healing, but filled with abundance for you guys. It's absolutely insane. Like I'm showing you these, I keep showing you guys these cards because it's like, there's, there's just so much positivity. There's so much abundance. Like it's truly when the new moon in Sagittarius talks about luck is on your side, like truly you guys, like this is such a beautiful, powerful spread. Um, I feel like this relationship is coming in very soon with the full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. This person is coming definitely very soon for you guys. If you are single, uh, currently, which I would kind of hope you are, um, but with the ace of water as well, this is talking about falling in love, um, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition and a new home. Like definitely I was talking like another affirmation in terms of spiritual growth this person is a very i feel like this person is very spiritually inclined perhaps or overall this person is going to just help heal a lot of the shadow work that you've needed to do for a long time but, but overall you guys like this is just such a beautiful spread for you guys it's very forward like <laughs> Y'all in pile number three is probably y'all is, is probably like the quickest reading so far. It's much quicker than pile number one and two because like y'all's is straight to the point. If I were to like kind of give summary, I would say like in the next like I keep saying six. So I want to say like six months or six weeks for some people that this relationship is going to be coming. Um, victory in some endeavor. So another positive like greatness card, another abundance manifesting card. Like yeah, this relationship you guys is coming very soon to you guys. So keep on the lookout for this. This is definitely going to be a, such a, I almost even kind of want to say that this relationship is going to be uh, spiritually involved. Like maybe like, I really kind of want to say like spirit put this person into your path, which leads me to kind of say this person's like a soulmate connection. This person's bringing healing so like this person's doing so much for you. So I really want to like spirits really setting this person up and that's partially why this person's coming to you very soon and makes sense like if spirit sent this person to you it makes sense as to why they're able to provide so much for you in terms of just healing in terms of uh yeah with the healing in terms of the shadow work in terms of the spiritual growth right this is what we're talking about with the spiritual growth enhanced intuition spiritual growth again and he's they're going to help you have victory in some type of endeavor it's you know yeah like with the wheel card as well it's the positive change you guys you guys in pile number three have such a beautiful future coming ahead of you guys this person is really coming to you soon and so yeah that's really the messages that i have for you guys in pile number three if this reading did resonate with you let me know which card resonated with you the most have you connected i would like to actually point out as well if you if any of you guys in pile number three have connected with any of these three archangels because y'all in pile number pile number three and archangel gabriel archangel raziel and archangel michael came through so three is definitely a number for you guys um so i would kind of suggest you guys to look up the numerology of three if knowing off the bat though three is a very psychic number so another um reinforcement that this person coming into your life is very spiritually inclined like this is definitely a spiritually involved relationship and like a soulmate level connection that spirit put onto your path for a reason and that is why they're going to be helping you out so much because spirit's really trying to toss you a bone in some sense right so yeah this that is the reading that i have for you guys in pile number three i really hope this reading brought you some clarity if it did let me know which reading uh which card resonated with you the most i would love to hear about it um if it did resonate with you please give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much but until next time guys i love you so much Bye. All right, hello people in pile number four. Let's see what re uh, cards we have for you guys. You guys are unique in that you guys had a couple different animals come forward for you. So I'm going as I'm spreading out the cards, I'm going to talk about the frog, the cleansing card. That is what you guys chose in pile number four. 
And also the extra animal card was, girl, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this animal. We'll just call this the wisdom cat. This wisdom cat came forward. So I feel like this relationship is going to be very healing for you guys. This relationship's going to teach you a lot, but also be extremely healing. This per Maybe this person is going to help show you and be your first experience of a non-toxic relationship because maybe I get the feeling that a lot of you guys that are watching this reading have experienced like most of your reference is toxic relationships. Y'all came to this reading to hear about your love, but you didn't know that I was going to call you out either, huh? Um, <laughs> so let's go over the, uh, the rest of your cards right now as I'm shuffling. Um, we have, mm, I feel like some people, yeah, let's just go into this. I feel like some people have like some past trauma to work on and like maybe like this person coming into your life that's what they're going to be cleansing that's what they're going to be teaching you that they're teaching you that you're worthy of being loved they're teaching you because i feel like for some people maybe like this older woman this older person some older individual has been gaslighting you or like you've had an experience with some type of relationship that made you really start questioning yourself because i say this because we have so many cards trying to give you affirmation. Spirit's trying to let you know that like this fire relationship is coming to you really soon. Um, because we have three different fire cards coming in. And this person, <laughs> like along with the fiery climax with the full moon in Aries, like this person coming to you guys is going to be is going to be extremely passionate. So it's even like, and I also want to think of like I know a lot of people will identify like fire as to be a like negative thing or a destructive thing, but also fire is extremely cleansing, even though it kind of seems counterintuitive when it's a frog card talking about the cleansing and frogs water and we're talking about fiery stuff, right? But I feel like this person is definitely going to be like such a passionate person and like really help cleanse you of like this like past like traumatic work whether it's with like an older woman or just some type of individual that like really had you start questioning yourself because we have the seven of fire asking you to defend your beliefs right now and really asking you to own yourself more and choosing your battles when spirit is giving you this affirmation i feel like also as well this person is going to be extremely supportive for you and really helping you stand your ground and really helping you see your self-worth because we have the dog card protection from a powerful friend like I almost feel as if this person is going to come in as like a deep friendship connection at first. Maybe you're going to open up to them about like some past work that you needed that you've been dealing with or current stuff that you've been dealing with that's like having you question yourself, having you feel the need to defend yourself, right? And because you're opening yourself up, um, you're no like you're noticing how like maybe like an old friend has been like extra protective of you, maybe um, because the weasel card coming forward to you i'm trying to like cover all the bases for you guys but this all these cards are like there's a lot of messages coming through so it may be a little bit scattered at first so have some patience with me you guys in pound number four but like i say this because i feel as if this person that's interested in you is not going to come to you first because even though i talked about like the fiery passionate energy i feel as if they're waiting for you to make a move because they see they see you <laughs> they see the stuff that you're working through they see your struggle and they don't want to take advantage of you they don't want you to feel being a like they don't want to pursue you when you're in a place of vulnerability i feel like this person that's going to be coming to you in your life right now is going to be like someone that starts out as like a friendship connection and you have to be the one that has to pay attention to queen of fire and like more fire energy you guys but yeah this person is definitely going to be someone that you have to pay attention to their manners and pay attention to their actions pay attention to the words that they have because with the weasel card asking you to pay like the weasel card is at spirit telling you to pay attention because this person that they're bringing to you in your life you you might miss them if you don't pay attention to the subtleties because they're not going to pursue you because they have such they have they view view you in the eyes of a dog where it's like super loyal and they just want to protect you and because they want to protect you so badly they're not going to pursue you and potentially like make you feel uncomfortable so you have to be the one that makes that move even with all that fiery energy so you have to pay attention to who it is and so you do that by claiming the weasel energy and like as you're opening yourself up to people, you start paying attention to the small things and, you know, venture into that. And, you know, I know a lot of people may not want to hear that they have to be the ones that has to pursue, but 
Yeah, that's definitely what I'm getting for you. With the Nine of Fire, rather, this card is asking you to not give up and protect that which you have created and to have encouraged and believe in yourself. So this card, these two cards play such a powerful role. I feel like definitely this person is going to, this person coming into your life is really going to help teach you. You're, you're just like your self a sense of worth. They're going to really help you stand your ground, helping you believe in yourself, helping you just heal overall. Like this person is going to be so healing for you. This person may be helping you with a heartache over somebody, right? I did pull the spear card for you guys. Um, but yeah, like, <laughs> let's go over the Queen of Fire card that I pulled for you guys. Yeah, Queen of Fire. This is asking you to stretch your wings and assert your dom, like, creative, like, asserting your independence and creativity and not underestimating yourself. So, oh, like, this person coming into your life, you guys, this person is really going to help you have a better relationship with yourself. You're, they're really going to help you realize how beautiful you are how wonderful you are and be, like you're going to need like this you're going to feel refreshed having this kind of affirmation because like you dealt with being gaslit for so long by like wh whoever this type of individual is maybe from your past relationships but it's yeah like it makes so much sense now because it's like this person is going to cleanse you with like have like this fiery cleansing with you and then so after that cleansing they're going to help give you instill into you proper wisdom and have you really realize like how beautiful you are and so let's go into a little bit more detail with this right let's um talk a little bit more detail about this person coming into your life um something i want to point out i did pull the nine of water card your wish is coming true concerns fading away so after all that fiery energy we have the nine of water soothing energy a love life so this is giving me an affirmation i almost want to be bold enough to say as well like this person is going to be like a soulmate connection perhaps just because of like the nine of water hot giving more emphasis on your love life uh and as well as the new moon in capricorn your hard work is paying off so i feel like a lot of you guys in pile number four have been trying to actively manifest like a twin flame or soulmate connection and like like you're getting like such positive victory cards because this card is just really stepping forward to let you know that you're prayers are being answered your manifestation your rituals the hard work that you've been putting into like manifesting this person is really coming into play here and so you know trust in this process right i want to remind you of the full moon in aries a fiery climax approaches like this person is that fiery climax right um i'm gonna refrain myself from a joke that i want to make uh <laughs> but yeah it's like the, with this person they're gonna help remove some of these concerns also on financial matters right this person i feel like it's going to be fairly well off because of, with the page of earth this is talking about financial matters maybe this person's going to um their success in whatever field practice or field that they're doing it's going to spark an interest in you as well and maybe you're going to want to also venture into down that path as well but overall you guys like you have so much good energy coming to you this person is definitely coming to you fairly swiftly as well because with the six of fire card this is talking about victory and good news is on its way so definitely if you guys have been like really a, like a hope and a prayer been working so hard feeling like you just been single forever feeling like this like this person's never coming into your life trust in the process trust that your hard work is paying off trust that victory and good news is on its way and this good news is coming in the form of a full moon in aries a fiery climax approaches i might even be bold enough to say like this person might be like an aries i really want to be bold enough to say that um but yeah like the one of your guys' last cards that i pulled for you was the north node step out of your comfort zone so yeah i feel like a lot of you guys are going to feel uncomfortable having to pursue this person but it, it's essential for you to step out of your comfort zone and be uncomfortable put yourself out there because if you don't put yourself out there this person's just always going to view you in the eyes of a dog <laughs> to be blunt i'm sorry to be blunt you guys but i really want to ha help you guys get to this fiery relationship and really help you get to this relationship that's really going to cleanse a lot in you and instill a lot of wisdom and just yeah this will be such a healing relationship for you guys i feel but that is the cards that i have for you guys in pile number four i really hope this reading was of resonance to you guys and gave you like a sense of direction if it was of help to you guys it would really help me out a lot if you gave me a like and subscribe because it does help my channel a lot uh, if this reading did resonate with you, let me know which card resonated with you. I really, like, it's just a lot of fiery energy for you guys. I'm really excited for you guys' love life. And so, please let me know how it goes, absolutely. But until next time, you guys, I really can't wait to connect with you guys again. I love you so much. Bye.